All right, so um, welcome everyone. Um, we are now entering into a phase um, where new concepts related to deep learning um, and advanced concepts related to artificial intelligence would be coming. So you need to be really attentive um, in case if you, you get any, any question, like never hesitate to ask me questions um, during the session. Uh, you can put your question because uh, um, I have enabled the chat window, so you can put your question in the chat window. I'll I'll come and see after some time. Okay, so before I start the lecture, so let me review what we have done previously. Uh, last week we were discussing the problem of uh, fitting to the data. Uh, how do we learn from data, and how do we learn from examples? So we continue from there. So if you have any questions, just ask me. Okay, so well, well, we will deal with questions related to your assessment number two, once we have finished with uh, and the lecture contents. But if you have any question about the lecture contents from last week, just ask me first. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, just put your question there. Yeah. All right, so now, remember like last time we were discussing um, a very interesting problem, uh, like we've been given some examples and how a machine learning system learn from examples. And what we actually mean by learning in that space was learning actually mean like we are learning the patterns. We're learning uh, the pattern from the data. So we have examples, we have examples from X and Y. And if several examples are given, uh, so they are plotted here. So we can actually uh, find that trend. Uh, we can um, find a linear trend with the help of an algorithm called linear regression. Okay. And uh, if any unknown value comes up, like we can use uh, this model, which is our straight line model to interpret and predict like what will happen in future and what will be the value. So if I've been given an unknown value of X, so this model will help me to predict the value of Y, okay? So that was the problem uh, called linear regression. And the way actually we solved it, we, we said, okay, let's um, calculate an error uh, which is predicted minus the actual and we sum up. So this is called linear least care problem. The linear least care problem is like we getting a um, scare of the error and we try to minimize it. Um, with the help, help of an optimizer, we try to minimize this error so when this error is minimized, like we can come up with a, with a solution. Now, what's the problem with this sort of uh, algorithm? There are several issues. So anyone can tell me what's the problem with this approach? Okay. So uh, one of the problem is like, because it's uh, called linear regression. So uh, because not, uh, every sort of data can be fitted in a straight line, okay? So straight line is just a very, very simple kind of model. So not all the data will be fitted into a straight line format. So this pattern may not be followed every time. Uh, so one example is this, like if you have a data, so these data values um, are like this. So if, if now you try to fit a a line, even the line is up here. So it, it's, it's very far from these, these points. So it's not a complete fit of the data. So um, it means that the linear regression works for very simple sort of problem where uh, the data points uh, are actually uh, along the linear domain, like they are, they are very simple. When the problem becomes very complex, for example, we have very different kind of complex data. So then um, they, it underperforms, like it, it's not performing well for that sort of data. And the, 
in in technical terms what we say it's underfitting it's not fitting well so 